Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Do Bonsai. I'm Scott Winard. Today we're going to uh, take a look at planting on the orange seeds that we've had some success with. But before we do that, we'll just uh, review the other fruity bonsai that we have growing and see how everything's doing. Just a quick look in at the tadpoles swimming around, going crazy. They're nice and happy in there, having a really nice swim. So it's all looking nice and green in the small greenhouse. Lots of work for us to do in there. Uh, the ginkgo I've just put in out of the wind and bad weather that we had, that's doing really well. The pre-bonsai Acer, lots of nice little growth coming off that. All sorts of uh, things going on. Uh, but if we look in, just behind the ginkgo there, there's six of the cherry seedlings continue to do very nicely and I turned these six around just now so that the light can get in from the other side of them and they're doing really well one of them at the front here is uh, grown quite long and then the tray of lemon seeds continue to grow and do well and then in the abandoned part at the back there is one little seedling to the back that just seems to be popping through so that's probably a little lemon seed that's decided to grow the apple trees there continuing to grow really well we need to do some uh, either trunk chopping the air layering isn't doing a great idea I've tried to uh, redo that today rescored the uh, the bark took the bark right the way back to see if we can encourage some root growth but uh, not a lot happening there but we do have some real nice little branches coming out down the bottom so we could potentially carry out a trunk chop and uh, just work with the smaller branches that we have in the cold frame the three cherry trees continue to do well uh, i just leave them with the top of the frame open uh, along with the oaks and the horse chestnuts and everything everything in there is uh, doing really really well the little willow at the back is putting out a lot of growth the one that was trimmed back by Pete uh, lots of new branching coming out so we'll have something to do with that going forward so here we are with the uh, orange seedlings that have sprouted. They were just put into a paper towel here and you can see that that paper towel was actually laid down at about this level and it's lifted the whole of the paper towel up in the air with the roots that it, that it must have put down. So if we lift that out or try to carefully lift it, you can see there is a whole lot of roots under there and there's probably seeds that are trying to grow that have been unable to get through that paper towel so we'll just lift that out and you can see there this one's grown and it's put a full tap root down so we'll just break them up and put them to one side as best as possible and uh, these seeds that are putting out the roots we'll keep those because we'll drop them into some soil and just see whether they can't carry on growing we'll put the paper towel to one side that hasn't got any growth on it but remove all the seeds and growth that has germinated and is doing a bit of uh, good growth so we'll just take as much of that as well as possible we can leave some on uh, without trying to rip it away from the seed too too harsh but the the stems of these are really tough really strong so you know you can see that it has been really trying and growing um, just a bit neglected up there on the shelf while i've been busy with lots of other things but there's lots of seeds in there that have that have done really well so we'll just put those ones that are still in the tray to one side take out one of these seed cell 
trays and if I just get some soil and it will just be some standard potting mix that I'm going to use for this there is some um, some parts in there there's some perlite there's some lava rock and all sorts in there but it's ideal for potting on seedlings this mix it is standard household potting mix so we'll just get some tools here and just create a little hole for the root to go down and into and then we'll get some more soil and we'll make sure that that's in nice and firm and we'll continue to the next one see the nice long root in the bottom we'll try and retain as much as that as possible push the soil in get a little bit more these have done really well um, they've not had massive amount of water either so they've grown really well with the moisture that was inside that propagation unit and they've just continued to do more than what could have ever been expected but we're going to put these little cell trays into another propagator to allow these to carry on growing so we'll just place those in position and then we'll get another another seed well you can see these seeds have been growing so they should carry on they're nice and white tipped they're not fully dried out so they should be okay so we'll just get plenty more soil in and we'll just drop these seeds into the soil cover them over and we'll propagate them on further and they should hopefully carry on germinating and doing well so that's these two I've got seeds in so we'll just pick out some more we might just have to go into the pot with a shovel just to agitate the roots and you can see that one's got a lot of roots on that one it's kind of a double coming out of the one seed there that's quite interesting so it will be interesting to see exactly how that carries on growing that will be interesting and then if we just grab another seed and this one's got three coming out of the same seed so that's going to be some sort of probably a a clump growth which will be interesting so we'll just pop that down and into the soil
just place some soil around it just so that we know that it's nicely in there very good we'll take another cell tray evenly spread some soil into the bottom of those and then we've got quite a bit to choose from in here where it really has done crazy the seeds have done great they will benefit from being planted on obviously um, but at least they're going to be hopefully doing quite a bit better that would have been the trunk the stem of the new thing you can see a little bit of leaf growth at the top but if we get that put into the soil we should see that continue to grow hopefully green up and do well it may just die off but uh, we'll give it a, a chance the same with these ones you know they've they've tried to grow they were underneath the uh, the tissue for far too long but there's always the opportunity that they will grow on so we'll get those into some soil and give them every chance I mean they've obviously wanted to grow because you've had a few coming out of the same seed so it's it's sprouted a number of times from a from a single seed and obviously you don't get that very often because once it sprouts it would never need to sprout out again but it's just kept pushing looking for that daylight so we're into there and we get this that one's come away from its seed so unfortunately that's not going to do anything and that one could potentially so we'll get that into some soil if we have a couple of these survive that'll be more than enough we only need we only need uh, a couple we don't need so so many so we'll just take another plenty of soil in there and then if we have a look at how these have tried to grow and just work them into some soil maybe pick another one for this front pot we need to get some more soil in there be interesting to see if they do carry on because obviously they have been left for quite a while I think we'll put this mass growth into one on its own oh, actually I think we can can we separate that it seems to be oh, we've lost lost that but it has got its own tap root so let's let's get that into there and then we'll just put this one with its own taproot already into that one we'll just get a bit of soil around them
we'll be able to put little bits more soil over these as required. One more should see the end of this. So in there's nice and loose and we'll be able to just create our holes and pop our seedlings in. Number one. that one in we have a seed that's germinated there it started to grow and then I'm just rooting around for anything else nope we've got nothing else so we will just use the soil that's in that cell just to feed into these So I've got this long propagation tray here, which just so happens to be a perfect fit for these tray cells, cell trays, to fit straight into. So we'll put them into our propagation tray and I'm hoping these five will fit just about right in here as if they were meant to and yes they do so we'll just give these seedlings some water nice and gently just so the soil goes around the seedlings that are in there and hopefully that uh, they'll continue to grow and provide us with some orange trees going forward. I think some of the ones with the leaves on already should continue to do well. I will be very interested to see exactly how the ones that haven't managed to formulate a proper stem uh, actually carry on and whether or not they grow or just wither off. I will be very interested in that. So we'll put some water into the bottom of the tray so the moisture can retain within there and then this comes with a little plastic lid so it's now in a new propagation setup from the smaller one that it was in just now and they are separated a lot better than they were so we'll revisit these in a few weeks time and we'll see which ones have continued to grow which ones didn't continue to grow and uh, obviously we're going to learn a bit of something from this so we've commandeered another section of Kay's greenhouse and we have placed this propagation tray in here and hopefully they will uh, carry on and do well there's some other things in here as always chocolate cherry tomato lisetto tomato some other tomatoes and peas and things and then hardening off outside we've got broccolis we've got all sorts of uh, various vegetables and and interesting things, sweet peas, cosmos, dwarf, dwarf cosmos, and uh, yeah, some, some bedding plants and some vegetable plants. Kay is obviously more green fingered than I am, more proficient than I am. Look at how she's got all her 
seed cells doing really, you know, every single one of them pretty perfect. So that's it from me and Inspector Pete here at Let's Do Bonsai. Pete's as usual keeping us on the, uh, making sure that we're doing the right things at the right times. Um, but he's looking a bit tired and fed up now. So uh, we'll call it a day and uh, we'll see you again soon. So until next time, if you go outside, be nice to each other, animals and the planet. And uh, we'll see you again in the next one.